What's going on guys? We're back at it. Um, get a little bit different thing going on today. A little bit more of a behind the scenes kind of deal. Let's turn this music down real fast. Uh, not really doing anything on my personal stuff or anything cool really. I wasn't going to video, but I figured since I'm just getting started, uh, any content's good content, so why not? Um, but got the old lady's brother's car back in here. Uh, it's been slinging belts. Uh, needs a new belt tensioner. And from what I understand, a lot of people do have trouble with these Honda Civics. Uh, run into a lot of, the camera wasn't even on me. Run into a, just a bunch of troublesome areas, hard to get to areas and stuff like that. I believe this is a 05. And I know between 05 and 06, they uh, changed up the belt pattern some. And also, it depends on your power steering. If you have electric power steering or uh, hydraulic power steering. Uh, and you can always just check on top just to see if you got a reservoir. Obviously, hydraulic power steering got a reservoir, it's not electric. So, not to tell you that. But uh, I just kind of want to show you guys the process. We already dug in a little bit. I already yanked the alternator off. Uh, you don't have to do it, but it makes your life a whole lot easier as well as the wheel and tire. Not a necessity, but will make your life a whole hell of a lot easier. Um, so, just to begin the process, you got a splash shield underneath your car. You can take the whole thing off, but I'm just accessing this one side, so it's not really a big deal. A couple little clips, you'll probably break them, so make sure you got some of them on hand. Uh, but drop that splash shield so that you can access where your belt is right here. And that, uh, goes with taking off the wheel and tire. You have all this room to reach in here. Uh, just besides, if your tire was on here, you just have like an arms width coming in here. Um, so anyways, take that off, and that gives you access uh, to your crank pulley down here, and uh, uh, also gives you access to your other pulleys over here, like your AC, AC compressor and stuff like that. So I'll take you up top here. Um, so Dalton, like I was saying, it's also not a necessity. So you're gonna work sit. It kind of just sits right here on top. So you can see how much room that takes to move it. Look at all that space. And you're right on top of your belt tensioner at that point. Uh, now, this is what made me stop and record because I know some people do have troubles with this. But you do have to pull off your uh, water pump pulley as well, which is right here. Um, I'm actually going to restart this clip uh, so I can get my flashlight on. Hang on a second, guys. Okay, so here's your water pump pulley right here, guys. Um, obviously, if your belt's not on, if your belt is on, I mean, and your tensioner's not too bad, which more than likely it is too bad, you can use the tension from your belt to bust these 10 millimeter uh, water pump bolts right here. More often than not, you're going to be unlucky and it, your, belt's, your belt will slip and you won't be able to break them loose. So, and guys, this goes hand in hand with the alternator. This is exactly where the alternator was, right here. Look at all the room you got now. All kinds of room for activities. So, here's your water pump. Just a little trick, because obviously you're gonna have trouble busting them loose. Uh, grab yourself, grab a screwdriver or a, a pick or anything like that. Take it right here, and on the front of your water pump, I don't know if it's gonna focus for me. Yeah, it will. There's your bolts, but right on the sides here, right where the tip of the screwdriver is, there's a couple, there's holes. And I'll show you guys. You can come through the back right here. Takes a little finagling. We can find it. And right there. See how it slides right through? All right. So then, whenever you go to bust them loose, you got room for all of them. It's wedged, so now you can bust it loose. Uh, I was able to get my little quarter inch ratchet in there and bust them loose. Uh, you can use a box in and get it, uh, but you're not gonna be able to get your three eighths in there. You, don't, you won't have enough room. But that's just a little trick for uh, busting these bolts loose on the water pump. So next thing we're gonna do is, you get a 12 mil right here, uh, which holds on uh, your belt tensioner, this, this bolt. And then you got another eight millimeter, and it's the troublesome one. So whenever we get to it, I'll show you a little bit more. But right here where the tip of my finger is. Uh, damn it. Anyway, you get the point. Right there where the tip of my finger is, you got an eight millimeter Allen head. And those suckers can be a bear. Um, a lot of times, uh, what you have to do is, is uh, release this engine mount, bust it all loose, get you a jack underneath on the oil pan, 
and drop the motor so, you can, so that you can get straight on with that, straight on that with the impact. Because a lot of times they are on there. But we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that don't happen. It's probably gonna happen now that I said it. But uh, I'm gonna yank this water pump pulley off and uh, if we have any trouble along the ways, I'll show you guys. Uh, but best case scenario, you guys are gonna see the belt tensioner here in a okay, second. Okay guys, so let it be a lesson learned to you all. Speaking too soon, can't come back and bite you in the butt. But I already did say it in the last clip, it was gonna happen. Um, but with these Honda Civics, this thing's almost got 300K on it, I think. So it's got some rusty and crusties on it. So I did end up having to pull the engine mount. And this piece here comes off too, but I'm just showing you guys for reference. And while I'm doing this right now, uh, I sprayed all the bolts down on PB Blaster. Now that's why I'm taking a break right now and kind of doing this. But uh, here's your uh, top engine mount bracket right here. And here's your body mount right here that comes to it. This just sits back in here, right like that, and slides in here. Um, so let me get this out of the way so I can show you guys. You've got one 17 millimeter right here that just goes straight through the body mount. And then one 17 mil right here and one 17 mil here. So you got three 17 mils total for this engine mount. And then you got one 19 mil nut right here on this stud and one 19 mil bolt right here. And um, I'm not sure on the torque, the torque specs. You can look them up if you want. I'm going with the Ooga Doogas today. We're good to go. Um, but pull that out of the way. And uh, before you do any of that, I think I probably mentioned it. Grab your jack and put it underneath your oil pan. Uh, grab something soft. You can get a hockey puck, piece of wood or anything. But I grabbed just a battery jacket I had laying around and put it right underneath your oil pan and jack it up just enough to support it. You don't have to go up any. None at all, just enough to support it. And whenever you get your engine mount yanked loose up here, now you can come back to your jack and you can lower it down. It's only gonna come down about that much, maybe an inch, maybe an inch and a half, just enough to make a difference. But as you can see, if I was at this exact angle before, that just kind of gives you guys reference. You would not be able to see this little Allen head right here. And that's where we need to be. Before, it was like that. Now we got just enough room to wiggle in there. But, as you can see, it's at the pivot point. This tensioner is clearly bad. Uh, but these are the biggest bear here, is this eight millimeter Allen head right here. Um, you're gonna wanna get a, a 3 8 uh, Allen bit. That's your best case. Don't try to do it with the Allen key. You're gonna hurt your, break your damn fingers trying to do it. I soak this one down with some PB Blaster. Uh, soak all of them down if you need to. That's what I did first. But uh, I'm gonna let this one soak for a little bit longer and uh, see if we can't get this one busted loose, guys. Okay, so the gods are looking out for me just a little bit. Uh, didn't have to draw out the bolt or do nothing goofy. Uh, or the pivot bolts, I should say. So uh, I went ahead and threw the engine mount back on because putting it back on is a whole lot easier. You just really need access for um, for putting it on, for her, for taking it off purposes, uh, because it's seized up real bad and this and that. Uh, so here's the bolt, and just for reference, all these bolts, uh, this one I think comes with the tensioner, but this nut, and this 19 millimeter nut, this 19 millimeter bolt, and these 17 mils, I believe Honda, by the book, you're supposed to replace them. I'm not going to, like this car is 300,000 miles. They don't care, we'll go on with it. It ain't that big a deal, it's, it's a driver. Um, so here is the tensioner itself. Uh, this is the top 12 mil we disconnected. And uh, right here is where the pivot bolt was. This is the pivot bolt set right down in here. Give you guys kind of more of a better idea. And whenever you spray PB Blaster or any, any kind of penetrating lubricant, you need to spray it on this back side if you can. Because as you can see how long this bolt is, if you just soak it from the front, it's not going to do you any good. So, got it out. Successful. Um, we have the belt, but they didn't give me a tensioner pulley or anything. So, we're going to run to the hardware store or run to the local auto zone and um, see if they have one in stock. If not, we'll have to put one on order and uh, probably get it done tomorrow. But, um, so, Ashton just got home. I'm going to run and uh, grab some dinner, run to the uh, parts store, see if they got what I need. And uh, we'll be right back, guys. Next day, guys, um, did end up having to put an uh, order in on that uh, tensioner pulley. But uh, we got it in. They called me this morning, and I went picked it up after work and uh, just walked into the shop. 
But uh, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. Here's a new one. Uh, as you can see, I didn't mention it for some reason yesterday, but this pulley just snapped clean off. Uh, I don't know how exactly. I guess this bolt backed itself off or something. I don't know. Maybe maybe it just got weak and snapped. But uh, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing in. Oh, here's the part number. If you guys need it, pause the screen and get it if you need. And these are for 05 to 2011, I believe. They're all the same. Um, so, just quick, guys, we're gonna bolt the tensioner back up, uh, and I'll throw the water pump pulley back on, and I'll check back in with you. Guys. We're at the water pump pulley, and I just wanted to remind y'all, in case you forgot, about the little trick you can do: find your little free holes on the front. There's one right there. Several of them, all the way around the outer edge. Take your screwdriver and slick her on in there. And obviously you're not gonna be going this way, you're gonna be going this way. I just go that way until it wedges and then you got enough room to send them bad boys home. Um, I'm not sure about the torque spec, so don't quote me on anything. Um, but hand tighten them down. Don't go too crazy. Um, I'll actually show you the best thing for this situation. This little Johnny right here. Just get you a little short 3 8 or whatever short ratchet you got. Um, actually, you could even just use your quarter inch if you needed to. If you trust yourself, just go ahead and use whatever the hell you want. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna tighten these bad boys down. And uh, I kind of, uh, I don't want to start it, start it in another clip, so let's do it now. Um, but the alternator would be the next thing to go on. Uh, but just so I still got room, I'm gonna go ahead and route all the belt and I'm gonna leave the alternator out, route it all, and leave the alternator pulley for the last one, bolt it in, uh, hit the tensioner, and boom, throw the belt on. Uh, have a little bit more room and everything. So uh, hopefully best case scenario, I'll see you guys in a second in the belt so, belt. So I was supplied a belt, and as you can see, I got it all routed minus the AC compressor. That's what I was about to loop it around right there. This loop is gonna go around this or this AC compressor right here. And then it's from back here. Uh, can't hardly see it, but uh, your power steering back there, um, it comes across to the top of your alternator. The uh, alternator sits right at about the top of the engine bay and that's about a 10 inch difference and I'm already out of belt down there. So we got too short of a belt. Um, Ashton's about to be home, so I'm gonna meet her there, and uh, we're gonna grab some food. I'm gonna grab the right belt, and then we're gonna come back here and finish up. So uh, it'd be a second for you guys, but I'll be back here in a couple of hours. So I'll see you guys then. Uh, sorry for cutting this one short. I'm cutting the lights off right now. We did get back and finish the car. Um, didn't run into any more troubles besides that belt. Went and uh, switched it out, or didn't switch it out, and I don't know where they got it from. Went and got a different one, and it did wind up being about four inches longer. Uh, the transition from 05 to 06, 06, they rerouted the belt. I don't, I don't remember if it had to do with the power steering or uh, whatever the case may be. They, it's a new reroute, so the belt is about three or four inches longer. It all went back together, just reverse the steps, and it goes back together way way easier than it comes apart because everything's finally broke loose but uh hope the guy or i hope this video was informative to you all we'll get back to some good content uh here in the next couple of days um but let me get, let me know what you guys think like comment don't forget to subscribe that helps me out a lot guys i know we're still getting into the swing of things but uh i appreciate all the support so i'll see you guys tomorrow